Right, okay, hello everyone. Um, we're jumping straight into this here. This is Inktober. Um, it's currently day 23, but uh, these videos are quite far behind, so uh, we're still on day 5 in these videos. Um, and on day 5, the word was blade, as you can see. Um, now, what I did on day 5 was I kind of killed two birds with one stone because... Um, over July, August and September I was doing a comic book for um, a comic anthology called uh, the Nine Volt um, Comic Anthology um, and as a kind of companion piece to that the, um, the guy who is publishing the Nine Volt Comic Anthology um, wanted to release sort of trading cards of the of the characters from that anthology um and my character was a four-armed um swordsman um sort of like a like a wuxia movie style swordsman you know kind of a uh, house of flying daggers um king who touch of zen type type of thing you know um and uh yeah so so because like i wanted to I wanted to draw something for a tr for a trading card for that pack, and I hadn't done my picture yet. Um, I took the word blade as an excuse to do that, um, and there, look, that's that's what the trading card's going to look like. Um, yeah, um, and then D six rodent. Um, so yeah, I tend to anthropomorphic. Blech! I can never say that word. Um, I tend to anthropomorphize animals a bit when I draw them. I don't know, it just tends to be my initial instinct. Um, and that's me adding like another perspective point to the to the drawing. Um, because I didn't want the um, rat's chair to be completely parallel to the TV. So I wanted that to have a different perspective point. Um, so it could be off to the side a bit, but um, yeah, that perspective point ended up being really, really far away, um, and um, this ended up actually being one of my favourite drawings out of all of the drawings that I've done for Inktober, actually, um, and uh, there's me transferring it over, as I've done with all of my Inktober drawings so far. Um, as you'll see as this kind of goes on um, and just adding to it with Copic markers on the TV I did kind of like a a parody of the TV show Friends but called it Rats because I was thinking these are two kind of anthropomorphic rats watching a TV show so I decided to call the TV show Rats and you can't really see it in this uh, this time lapse but you'll be able to see it in the scanned image at the end um, for the rats I kind of um, you know did lots of little kind of lines to try and represent the wool the the, the fur sorry um, on the rats and then sort of colored in between the fur um, and uh, yeah I don't, I don't know if there's really that much to say about this one um, other than other than that it's one of my favorites really um, Oh yeah, I was testing out colours on the back because I wasn't sure what colour to do the do the carpet because I was thinking I was already thinking that I quite like this picture um, before I had added the carpet in and I didn't want to damage it by you know putting some colour that didn't contrast enough with the with the rats or something and kind of ruined it and um, but I I think I ended up picking an all right colour. Um, it's a bit of a shame about the kind of faint sort of lines around the edge of the the, the edge of the characters in that picture though um but anyway yeah here's um day number seven fancy um and for this my idea was basically to do a kind of fancy looking guy wearing like a fancy suit um getting out of a rolls royce um and yeah, this is obviously that's the Rolls Royce behind him, and and then I drew a pigeon on his head, 
because I don't know, I, I kind of thought it was a bit dull to just do like a guy in a fancy suit outside of a fancy car. I wanted to kind of, I don't know, add some kind of contrast or something, you know, some counterpoint to that. Uh, so I thought it'd be funny just to put a pigeon on his head, you know. Um, and I was thinking, like, you know, I don't think the pigeon is. I don't think this guy dislikes having a pigeon on his head, you know. I think maybe, maybe it's like a lucky pigeon. Maybe the reason why he's, why he's managed to buy fancy suits and fancy cars is because of that pigeon that's been on his head for the whole time. Um, before he had the pigeon on his head. He was just a normal guy. And then, when the pigeon landed on his head, suddenly his life changed, turned around, became something completely different. And um, and uh, and he can help you to have one of these kinds of lives as well. If you, uh, if you join his uh, monthly plan, um, which costs... Uh, you know, a lot of money, but apparently it's going to make you rich. Um, so if you're broke, then obviously what you should do is, uh, you know, pay a ton of money. Oh, just swore there. Pay loads and loads of money for, uh, you know, some guy's plan, which is apparently going to make you rich. Because, uh, yeah, that's going to work. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's the that's the guy with the pigeon in his head. And then uh, here we have day eight. Teeth. And a bit of my shoulder there. And um, for day eight, well, I was thinking teeth. You know, you think of an animal with teeth. You know, like a like a carnivorous, uh, you know, predator, dangerous predator with sharp teeth. And I think the 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 first one that came to mind, the one that seemed the most appropriate, was a a crocodile. Um, so my idea was to draw like a a dentist kind of inspecting a crocodile's teeth, um, and that's what this this is. So you'll see as I start to add colour to it. Obviously, I've transferred it onto the Bristol board there, and um, that's what I'm doing here, transferring it onto the Bristol board with the graphite paper in between, um, and that's yep, that's the transferred image. Um, Drawn on the scales on the on the crocodile. Obviously, I could have been a little bit more, could have been a bit more detailed with the with the scales and the crocodile. But I was thinking, yeah, it's all right to do a a more cartoony crocodile. You know, this is Inktober at the end of the day. You know, we're doing one picture every single day, so good to keep the the characters cartoony. Um, just so that you can, you know finish it in a in a fairly reasonable amount of time um but uh when i say reasonable i just mean like as in you know you can't actually physically do it in a day like as in it's not it doesn't defy the laws of physics to finish the picture in a day but but that's a pretty much all i mean by reasonable because um a lot of the time i don't spend a reasonable amount of time on Inktober, sometimes I spend too much. But anyway, this is the end of the video. Um, so I'm gonna just sort of do those kind of like really annoying things that YouTubers always do. Like, uh, you know, just ask you, uh, you know, could you please like the video, please? That would be good. Thank you very much. Um, and also, you can subscribe to the channel. That would also help. Um, I would love to say subscribe for more videos like this, but I don't really know what kind of videos I'm going to be making in the future, although I do think there's going to be some more um, Inktober videos, because obviously this is only day 8. Um, the videos are quite far behind the actual challenge itself. Um, but, you know, you never know which direction this channel is going to go in. It was a filmmaking channel when it started, and now it's sort of become an art channel um and in a few more months it might be i don't know a ballet channel maybe or something like that i don't know you never know but anyway thank you very much for watching and bye bye